The 1980s were all about excess. Big hair, loud music, and ridiculous movies. 80s movies were notorious for pushing the boundaries of good taste, often with absurd results. 80s death scenes are no exception, with some of the most absurd and hilarious kill sequences ever put to film coming out during this time. And not only were they absurd, some were straight up physically impossible. Today, we'll be taking a look at two death scenes from some cheesy 80s horror flicks and putting the physics of their methods of homicide under the microscope. First up is 1986's Deadly Friend. It's the heartwarming story of a boy genius whose best friend is killed, so he brings her back to life by replacing her brain with a computer. However, she starts to malfunction and kill off anyone who wronged her while she was still alive. In this scene, the friend character, Samantha, sneaks into the home of her grouchy neighbor. Damn, shits. That's badass, but is it physically possible? Let's see. According to neurosurgeon Tobias Matai, it would take about a 4,900 Newton force to crush a human skull, so the basketball must exert at least that much force. A regulation NBA basketball has a standard mass of 0.625 kilograms. According to Newton's second law, we can get the acceleration of the ball when it makes contact with the head by dividing the force by the mass giving us a 7,840 meters per second per second acceleration. In the film, it takes about 0.1 seconds for the ball to make contact with the neighbor's head. Because acceleration equals the change in velocity over the change in time, the ball would have a change in velocity of 784 meters per second when it made contact. LeBron James usually passes the ball at a speed of 17.88 meters per second, and the fastest baseball pitch ever recorded was 46.94 meters per second. Also, at 343 meters per second, the sound barrier is broken. Even with her newfound robot powers, it's still pretty hard to swallow that Samantha could take off a head with that throw. Keeping with the sports theme, next up is 1984's Fatal Games. A group of young Olympic hopefuls find themselves getting picked off one by one by an insane javelin. While it's very tempting to discuss the incredible scuba impalement, I have to go with this scene, where a potential suspect working out finds himself on the wrong end of the javelin. In the movie, the killer manages to toss his javelin across what is approximately the length of a football field and skewer a victim. I'd like to figure out the velocity of the javelin. The killer throws the javelin from a height of about 15 meters. It will take about 1.75 seconds for it to hit the ground. The killer is also standing about 110 meters, the length of a football field, away from the victim. Using the x equals x0 plus v average t equation, we can conclude that the javelin will be traveling 62.9 meters per second, ignoring air resistance, when it makes contact. Since the killer stands atop a press box, we can conclude that this was a standing throw. The current record for world's fastest standing throw of a javelin is 31.3 meters per second, and the current distance record for javelin is 104.8 meters. Physically impossible? Maybe not. But that killer has a hell of an arm. While both of these aren't the most ridiculous death scenes to come out of the 1980s, they're certainly some of the most physically perplexing, even though they are pretty sweet. <laughs> 